Don't you think that this legislation, this regulation will put Europeans to disadvantage or because Chinese will take over the minerals in Africa? No, uh, because uh, uh, this rule uh, regards uh, uh, all the companies. All the companies that want uh, to import uh, products from uh, Europe uh, have to, uh, have to uh, ensure the traceability traceability of the material. Uh, Mr. Pitella, what about the working place? Uh, doesn't it endanger the working places in Europe? Uh, is there a risk that the working places will, of electronics will move somewhere else, for example in Asia, where they don't respect these regulations? No, uh, I, think, I think no. In, in any case, uh, we have to defend the ethic uh, principles. We have to defend uh, uh, the necessity to uh, to improve the situation in Africa, where uh, um, the, uh, this uh, use of uh, mineral and the uh, exploitation of the uh, the children in the uh, miners uh, um, is a, a financial advantage for the uh, criminals and for the wars, and that this is. Uh, not acceptable by us and we have to stop this situation. Uh, Mr. Pichella, how soon you expect the effects of this regulation? Uh, now we have to negotiate the, the, the final decision with the, the Council. Uh, the European Parliament uh, has done the, the first step but now we have, we have to, to do uh, the second and decisive uh, step with the Council. If the Member States uh, will be uh, in uh, the same line, uh, we, we, we will uh, have uh, a good rule, a revolutionary rule in the world. Uh, Mr. Pitello, what can be the objections of European Council or the Member States to this progressive legislation? <laughs> we voted uh, in the Parliament one hour uh, ago, and uh, now we 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 we, we, we start the the, negotiate, the the negotiating uh, uh, work with uh, the Council. I don't know, and but I can ensure that. Uh, we we will do everything uh, to convince uh, our friends uh, representative of member states to agree with uh, with our position